Welcome back to CES 2012. We're still here with MSI, moved over to the motherboard division. Alex, you've got some, what, two interesting boards here. Um, what I want to know is what great features are you going to bring? And B, when can we expect to see these boards at the market? Okay, uh, as far as the features are concerned, uh, Z77 chipsets will include uh, several innovative features on the chipset itself. For example, like. the chipset itself will have uh, native USB 3.0 support. Finally. And um, yes, finally, so it's not an add-on chip, but um, um, depending on the model, if we are adding more additional USB ports, we will have a third-party controller, kind of similar to the SATA port configuration. And um, in your testing, have you found the Intel controller to be quick or slower than the stuff we add on from NEC and other companies? It's, it's actually about the same, um, same speed. It's, right. it's, it's, not, uh, any, um, it's not a significant jump, but... The important thing is, is that because it's native support, there's no uh, third-party controller. So for anybody that's looking for, um, that doesn't want to deal with any third-party controller in terms of drivers, then it's actually a better solution than NEC, for example. Yeah, yep, got it. And your own features on these boards. Talk us through those, please. Um, in the case of some of our uh, Z77 boards, if you're familiar with the Z68 boards and, and the previous 6 Series chipset, a lot, um, some of the uh, features such as the, the, um, the power buttons, the OC Genie buttons, we've actually moved them over to the edge of the board here. So um, if you populate a device on the third PCIe slot, there's nothing that blocks the, uh, the bottom yeah. uh, ports. You know, if you need to access the uh, power buttons or the reset button, you know, it's all on the side of the board, so easy to access. Do you think it's going to be difficult to convince enthusiasts to purchase these Z77 boards, considering that with the Z68, if you buy us upgrade it, I imagine you can run Ivy Bridge anyway? Uh, yes, because um, looking forward, uh, Z77 is a more compelling buy because you not only do have, have backwards compatibility with um, Sandy Bridge boards, uh, Sandy yep. Bridge processors. Well, same tr same um, socket, isn't same it? Same socket, yes. But uh, all the features on Sandy Bridge processor can is found and it's available on the Z77 board. But all of the Ivy Bridge processor features are not available on a Z68 board. So the Z77 board will have the best of both worlds in between the Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge in terms of processor features, regardless of what processor you run. Sure. I was looking at this board earlier, and just on this side, just over here, I don't know if we can see that, it says Thunderbolt. Yes. I imagine that's a technology Intel stroke Apple. What's it doing on your board, and how do you plan to use it? Um, I don't have the... I, I, I'm not able to dis disclose the specifics of what we're doing as far as the uh, Thunderbolt feature is concerned, but we do plan on implementing on the uh, high-end... Um, high-end uh, Z77 board uh, as far as a uh, connection is concerned. The, um, the I.O. port on the back is actually not a complete uh, uh, panel so, at this point. So you just reserved the pins for it? Yes, yes. It, it, it will be on the final version of the board. It's just that at this point I can't show the chip, for example. Um, but it's used as a uh, connection standard. Um, it could be, think about it this way, uh, because it's wired directly to PCIe lanes, you can use it for storage or you can even use it for external graphics. Right. And um, with your best guess, do you think we're going to see this before Computex? The, the chip anyway, because you guys seem to have the board ready in time. Yes, for sure we will, before Computex. Okay, we're going to see new chips from Intel before Computex. So Alex says, we'll hold him to that.